as I was still pushing, 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 uh, 20, 2017, yeah, 2017, yeah, 2017, when I, when I got my, my first car, yeah, first car, uh, Toyota Ranex 2017, when I got my first car, that was on the 13th of July, 2017, if I remember properly. Yeah, when I got my first car, uh, after two months, I went home with it. I went home with it. And that was in Limpopo because I was staying full time in, in Soshanguva at that time. So I went home with my first car, you know. So uh, I parked the car at, at, at my parents' house, right? And I slept. And then when I woke up, I, 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 sorry i found two tires were flat like literally two tires were flat so i called my my friend then he came and then he assisted me with the tire problems and then that was fine so in my head i actually thought uh i actually thought hurry it's just an average puncher now the second day the second day when i slept like when i woke up there was there was footsteps behind actually there were there were like footsteps walking towards the car you know and uh those footsteps they were not they were not ordinary they were not normal no they were not they were not normal it was not human footsteps number one and there's no way i can it, it it can't be me for as long as I remember. It can't be me. So when I checked, it's not chickens. It's not a chicken. I don't know how to explain it. It's like it's a donkey footstep or a cow. You know, there was just weird things happening around, you know. Then after that, I kept on pushing. I, I, I prayed, I prayed, I kept on pushing no matter what. And... When I went home again in December, uh, that time uh, I actually bought three cars. That was C180, Audi A4, Audi A6. Now, after that, that's when uh, stories started, you know, back home that, you know, uh, this boy has a snake. They were referring to me. This boy has a snake. There's no way you can achieve these things and all that. So now it all makes sense as to why these people are saying these things about me, especially back home. Our social media, people can say whatever they want to say. I'm talking about people who know me in real life, people who know my struggle, people who know me physically. When I, if you just clicked follow, you don't know me. You just, you're just a follower. You know, I'm talking about people who know me. They started saying that back home. That's where it all started. So now I'm thinking about it. I'm like, why are these people saying it? Now, when I think about it deep, it makes sense. It makes sense. Because now these guys, they have been trying to bewitch me ever since. Coming to think of it. They have been trying to bewitch me ever since. And uh, they are failing every fucking time. So when they are failing like that, they actually assume that I'm probably using a multi greater than theirs. Because theirs is failing on me. So they assume, well, no, this boy has something powerful. Something powerful than what we have. Because now we can't stop him. Because now, remember, a witch doesn't only bewitch you for, for the fun of it. They bewitch you to stop you from achieving your dreams. They bewitch you from stop, from stopping you. They actually, their goal is to stop you from achieving anything that you want to achieve, right? So I kept on winning, no matter what. The tantrums, everything they've thrown uh, towards me, I've, 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 I've been escaping. I've been ex escaping. So now the only thing that makes sense to them is that now, nah, man, this boy has something that's stronger. And they are right. I do have something that's stronger. And that is God. But according to them, it's impossible. God can be this powerful. Because as people, we believe in different things. Right? Others pray pictures. 
uh, others pray ancestors strictly others believe god doesn't exist others are praying bushiri you know as people we pray different things and you you just stick to what works for you no matter what so this guy's believe torah naman this guy this boy is onto something that's strong you know and i thought that was the end of it that was 2017 december now moving to 2018 uh 2018 uh i actually 2018 was the first time i actually buy a vurpa vurpa i'm talking about a four pipe you know the first four pipe actually because there were two of them kiddy kiddy audi s3 now the ones which were uh, recently repossessed by by the bank you know so you'll be seeing the stories on newspapers and platforms very very soon so they were repossessed by the banks uh, not so long ago so yeah but that's a story for another day we will we'll deal with that one when we we, we get there so that was like the first the first um 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 Vrpa, the first four pipe that I had, right? That was 2018. So now I remember it like it was yesterday. So what happened was that the I actually we bought the first S3 on Thursday and then the second S3 on Friday, like two consecutive days, right? uh the first one and the second one so now it was a norm that every time when i buy a car i have to go home and show my my mom that mommy granny dad i've made it i've bought a car and they give me blessings and all that right sharp now so uh, what happened was that i went home right i went home in limpopo driving nicely it didn't have number number plate it it had a permit brand new from the box right so when i went home there was actually a family uh, function at that time like there was a family function at that time and i was going for two things to show them the car as well as to be part of the family function so i went there it was nice you know so i went there on friday and then um saturday that was the day of the function so normally because i'm 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 the one who's actually a little bit privileged in the family so during that time i was the one doing the errands running up and down you know so i spent most of my saturday during the day running up and down going up and down going up and down uh, doing buying this and that buying alcohol doing this and that right so all was well with the s3 it was brand new the second one it was there as well yeah it was it was with me but now i was driving the other one sharp that was before uh the g63 the r7 the a45 the m4 that was way before then that was way before then right so that's what happened now uh the function happened during the day on saturday everything went well smooth i was taking in actually i would say driving different family members relatives up and down you know back and forth so all was well remember i don't drink i don't drink alcohol i've i've never drank alcohol in my life you know so i'm always sober anything which happens to me i'm always sober so like i'm always at a super sober state so I, I, there's nothing that i can actually miss i see everything that's happening now around 7 7 8 p.m um i i tell my mom we're still at the function the function is at the village i tell my mom that mom uh remember we didn't we didn't turn on the lights back home so it's dark so in my car if if you if it's dark at night there are no lights on especially around six seven eight thugs are able to see that uh they are not around therefore it's it's a good chance for us to break in 
you know, because they know normally if there are people, lights would be on. So I tell my mom that, no, mommy, I need to turn on the lights. I need to go home and turn on the lights because if not, thugs will take advantage. And then she's like, okay, sharp. Uh, you'll go, but just not now. You'll go maybe around 10. And I'm like, okay, sharp. So we stayed there. It was happening. Uh, it was nice, you know, bonding with family, greeting different people that I grew up with. And remember, everybody is happy that I've made it. I've bought a car, even though it was not my first. But yeah, it's, 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 it's something, you know, especially in my family. They, they, they see these things with me. Sharp. Everyone was happy. There was, there was no bad vibes. Now, around 10, I tell my mom that, Mommy, I need to go turn on the lights. And then she's like, okay, Sharp, you can go. But I don't want you to go alone. And I'm like, I, why? And then she says, no, I, I don't, I don't, you know, people are not happy, my son. So I don't want you to go alone. And I ignore her. And I say, I'm and mommy, don't worry. Don't worry, relax. Now with what I thought at that time, to accompany me in the company me so that I can turn on the lights and all that. Because I know my mom wanted me to probably take my dad along with, or maybe my uncle, and that was going to cramp my style because, you know? So if, if, if I was in a relationship with you at that time, hey, hey you must relax, man. It's, it's all in your stress back. You must relax. So now... Uh, half past 10 to 11, I went to, to, to my car now to turn on the lights. So I drove there. So when I got to the robots, when I was about to get to get uh, to my actual house, then I remembered that no man, fuck, I forgot the keys to the house. So I had to go back to the village again. So I went back to the village again to fetch the keys. So I fetched the keys from my mom. So when I went back to my house, to turn on the lights, that was already like to 12, midnight, right? To 12, midnight. So I turned on the lights. Everything was proper. Everything was proper. So Shabu, I, I stayed for like a few minutes, I think. Uh, but yeah, I remember when I left my house, that was 23.50, somewhere there. But closer to 12, midnight. So I left... Uh, driving slow, you know, I'm feeling myself. A part of me feels like I'm still dreaming. And then a part of me can feel that this is reality, you know. So I was still in between. Sharp. So uh, when I was driving Momo then there's this other girl who was walking. And then Ebeke Emada. Then I stopped. And I'm like, hey, baby girl. Where are you going? And then she's like, no, I'm going to, uh, a, there's a co place called Radi. Like, it's where we party that side. I'm going to Radi. I'm like, yo, baby girl, you know what? Um, I just got my ride, man. And I've never had anybody get in, inside this ride here at home. So I want you to be the first. Let me accompany you, you know. And she's like, oh, okay, no problem. Won't you steal me? I'm like, baby girl, look at me. I'm not the type to steal. Hey, yo, Anna Mel. And then I accompanied her to, to the place where she wanted to party, you know. So I dropped her off. And the sad part about it, the sad part about it is that I dropped her off there while the boyfriend was watching. Like the boyfriend was watching. I think that's how I, I, I get to create enemies. The boyfriend was actually watching, so ah, it was strong, man. It was strong. It was strong. So I dropped her off. So when I was going back to the village, that was already past 12 now. Because obviously, when I was with her, we were talking, I was driving slow, you know. Uh, sunroof opened 12 o'clock midnight. It was flipping cold, but the sunroof was opened. Because if it's closed, then people won't know that the car has sunroof. You know, so I had to open it, man, you know, so sharp. So when I was going back to the village, then there's, there was two boys. Those ones are my homeboys, really. Like they, they, they stay at the village hundred percent, you know, 
those ones are my homeboys. So, but I'm fun coach. We are, are you going back to Hamtori? I'm like, yeah, dog, I'm going there, you know. And then, but I know, dog, uh, but we are waiting for somebody. Uh, if you don't mind, you can just wait for like five minutes. And I'm like, okay, boys, no stress. So, we waited for, for that somebody. It was one of their girlfriends, I guess. So, sharp. So, now it means that I'm going to lift three people. It's two boys and one girl right so now one of the boys in there was actually one of my 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 students one of fbk students you know so he was actually inspired because at that time what he saw on facebook was that i'm lying i didn't buy a car so you're not seeing it in real life it was a blessing to him that he wanna keep on pushing and, and 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 hustling so that one day he can get a car of his own so now sharp we drove to the village you know i was driving i was driving to the village you know there are, pot, there are potholes back home so you can't really drive fast i was driving slow you know feeling myself audi s3 4 pipe you know life was good now that was already to one somewhere around 12. now what happened even even today, I still find it so strange. Like, I still, I still find it so strange. It, it's still weird, even today, coming to think of it. So now, Sharp, we went there. Uh, we're driving, you know. So there's like, when you go to the village, there's like three parts, you know. The first part is leaving the Kasi. The second part is the second tar road. Then the third part is dust road. So when I was on the second part after leaving Kasi, heading to the to the to the uh, to the village, now what happened was that I was driving. I was driving uh, around about between forty and fifty. That was not more than sixty k's right that was not more than 60 k's i was driving between 40 and 50 for as long as i remember and then with if there's something you need to know about audi right is that especially the s3 it when when you're turning on the lights they have like what we call they have what we call auto mode right on on auto mode what happens is that the car is gonna light even uh besides the road the road i don't know how to put this but Come at talk, man. Just it doesn't only show you where you're going, but even even English is running. But yeah, you feel me? Be, let me use besides. Yes, let me use that word. So it will show you even besides or outside the road. <laughs> English is running. So I know, I hope you understand. So it shows you so that if there are animals coming. Or if there's a person standing or if there's something any object then you can be able to see it so the auto light used to rotate around like on the side of the road sideways yes sideways uh that's the right one so it used to show me like sideways everything guys i was driving 40 50 kilometers because the speed limit there is about 60 to 80 between there i'm not sure as i'm driving and we are talking i have one boy in the front seat and at the back it's a boy and a girl so there's like four of us in the car right so as i'm driving guys now i'll explain everything after that but as i'm driving the last sound that i've heard was call that was the last sound that i've heard as i was driving it was core that's what i heard like i've heard core and then i stopped right i'm gonna do a recap as i was driving remember i'm sober i'm not drunk the last sound i heard was core like it was noisy right and then i stopped and i'm like what the fuck happened right everybody in the car shock is shocked you know certain things when they happen when they happen you 
you you take them lightly you take them lightly you don't read too much into things but now here's what happened guys when i was driving the road was clear it was clear 100 percent clear 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 and if there was anything sideways i i i i i, I think i I would have seen it or the passengers would have seen it at least right now what happened guys is that there was a cow a cow which appeared in front of the car i'm going to repeat in case you didn't understand or hear me there was a cow which appeared in front of the car. In front. The, 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 the cow didn't come running sideways. No. The car was not on the road by then. No. It appeared in front of the car. I don't know if that makes sense. And I'm, I'm sure you are, you are even confused. Now, you think this is a bedtime story? No, I'm not telling you a bedtime story. I'm telling you a real-life experience. A cow appeared in front of the car. Remember now, I saw the cow appearing in front of the car. I'm not sure if the passenger saw the car or it was only me who saw the, car, the cow, I mean. So, at that time, I thought I was going crazy. You know, certain, certain moments when you see something, you think you're going crazy. I thought I was going crazy. And so immediately when I saw the, 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 the cow, I don't know what happened, but I remember turning. I remember turning. And I think I turned to the left. Yeah, it was the left. So when I turned to the left, the core, the core sound that I've, I've, I was referring to before, it was actually the mirror. The mirror got hit by the cow. I don't know which part of the cow, whether the head or the body or the tail or the leg or the what, I don't know. But yeah, that's what happened. Now remember, I'm with people. So immediately when I stopped, and then it clocks in my head, I'm like, fuck. I got involved in a fucking car accident. Me out of all people, I've never imagined myself being uh in in a car accident so it haven't clocked in my mind that fuck this is a serious issue right so now i got off the car the boys got off the car and the girl as well now remember now i saw the car appearing in front of the car like boom like you guys don't understand the car was the car was not on the road it appeared in front of me like a pop-up you see when you when you are on 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 google and then there's like a pop-up on your phone that's how the cow appeared on on on, on the road that's how it appeared it's a pop-up you know it was not there before i i i'm not blind i can see properly so we got off the car me and the boys and the girl now in my head i thought what I've seen was just an illusion. It, like I've seen things, you know. I thought I was crazy, just like you guys thinking I'm crazy right now. Right? You think I'm crazy. So I thought that, I thought I, I thought I was crazy. Because I thought what I saw, it was just me only. So now, when we, we, when we checked. Now here's the first weird part. The first. Yeah, the cow appeared like a notification. Yes, my guy. The cow appeared like a notification on your phone. <laughs> so now, here's what happened. When we checked, remember now, if, if you hit a car, if you hit a cow, I mean, or any animal at least, especially the one that's standing, uh, you must be able to see the animal that you've hit. So when we checked... Number one, the first weird thing that we have seen was that there was no cow. I'm going to repeat. The first 
weird thing. The first weird thing that we have seen when we got off the car is that there was no cow. There was no cow at all. Now that simply means that I've hit nothing in a way. But my mirror is fucked up. Now, when we check on the ground, because uh, it, it was still visible, there were still cars coming and passing at that time. When we checked on the ground, there was no evidence of any glass of the mirror. There was no evidence of any glass of the mirror. That was the second weird th uh, thing. The first weird thing is that there is no cow. The second weird thing is that they the glasses of the actual mirror that already broke. Next, next, next. Nothing. And then I laughed about it because I thought that I was going crazy, right? I mean, you'd think I'm going, I'm crazy, right? I'm, I'm sure you're probably thinking, nah, this nigga is crazy. This nigga is, this is, is crazy. You think it's a joke. I know. Wait until it happens to you. Wait until it happens to you. You will see that people are working overtime and they're definitely not fucking happy with what you're doing with your life. And in most cases, strangers would never harm you to that point. It's only people who know you from back home. Your family, your friends, people who know you, your relatives, they are the ones who can do that. There's no stranger who can randomly do that out of nowhere. If that happens, there's, there's an agenda behind. So now we got back in the car. There was a moment of silence in the car. Nobody said anything after the accident. Nobody said anything. Remember what I'm telling you? I haven't discussed it with my passengers, whether they've seen what I've seen. Right? There is no there is no communication. We 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 are quiet, all of us. Like shh, quiet. I kept on driving. Same speed. When I look at my mirror, there's no mirror. My mirror is fucking gone. Luckily, the 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 the, the driver's window was closed. So if the driver's window was not closed, I would have been fucked, literally. I would have been fucked, literally. So I drove, I drove, I drove. I'm still on the second part of the road. Remember, going to the village is like three parts. Leaving Kasi, going to the village, and the dust road. I'm still on the second part. So now as I was driving, it's still quiet in the car. No word. No word. Next, next, next. So when we got to the third part, which is dust road, I'm driving slow. We're still quiet it's quite in it was weird as fuck it was weird as fuck and i was wondering why is any why are these people not saying anything in the car i mean passengers they're supposed to be saying something at least but nobody's saying anything i was surprised dust road now this is like the final confirmation this is like the final confirmation of what happened and this is like an eye-opener for me, which actually opened that fuck. This is happening for real. These people want me dead. Fuck. I still have my sunroof opened, you know? I guess by, I still have my sunroof opened. The car is still proper. It's just that the, the driver's window, the driver's window, as well as... The, the mirror is gone. Sharp. As I was driving on the dust road, it's like a, a long main road, like a main road, like a long main road. We are going up, right? So when we're driving, when I'm driving, we're going up, then we see a car coming, a car coming, going down. Right now we are going up, the car is, is going down. Actually, let me see it properly. Oh, I'm tired of uh let me see it properly <gasps> sorry 
sorry. Yeah. So when we I'm trying to adjust my my cell phone properly. Yeah. Yeah, so when we were going up, there was another car going down, right? So when I'm going up, uh, my right of way is the left side. Then he, the other car's right of way is the, 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 the right side, right? According to the, the road signs and all that. That's if you didn't buy your license. But if you've bought a license, then I don't know. So I was using the left side. Yeah, it was the left side. Yes, going up. And then the, the opposite direction, the right side. So as I was going up, as I was going up, then the car is coming. Now, when the car comes closer to us, it changes direction. It leaves from right to left. That is where we are. Now, this car, this one, it didn't appear out of nowhere. No, this one, I've seen it coming from a, from a distance because we were probably like driving five, five kilometers because it's dust road and the car is still brand new you know so now as 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 the car changes direction it comes to my my side of the road and the first words that i i i i i, I took out of my mouth was that hey it's saturday people are drunk so this drunkard I, they, they, they can't drive properly when they're drunk. Then that's when my passengers started engaging in, a, in the conversation. And then, like, then, then they were like, yeah, no, move to the other side. So I moved to the other side. When I moved to the other side, remember now, we are still, we are about to, 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 to collide in a way, you know. Like, he's still coming down, I'm still going up. Then I went to the right side. When I went to the right side, he moved to the right side as well. I'm like, aye, man. And is this guy drunk? Then I moved back to the left side. And then he moved back with me. Now, I don't, I don't know uh, meters estimation. But we were not really far apart from one another. Then I decided to stop. Then I stopped the car. When I stopped the car, he stopped as well. And I'm like, eh, 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 eh. Remember, I've just been involved in a, a, a car accident just not long ago, right? And now this is happening. What the fuck is going on? Now my heart is starting to pump, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep it cool. So now this car started coming towards me directly, like head on, like right 100% towards me. And I was like, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. This is not happening. Never. Kafaga reverse. Akafagila reverse. The car was, uh, I don't know, but I think it was, uh, it was old cars, man. Some around Corolla 16 valve. Old cars. Extremely old cars. Or Honda Ballade. Old cars. I don't know, but somewhere there. When the car was coming towards me, Agafaga reverse. Ebeg reverse. Fast. Now, I didn't even see what was happening behind, what was coming, but my goal was to escape what's coming to me. So luckily, uh, obviously, because it's a dust road. So I get Tomo Reversa with high speed. Uh, this, that's what I love about Audi. Audi is extremely powerful. It's extremely powerful. So I get Reversa, there was obviously dust all over. So you can't really see what's happening. So I managed to reverse. If I get better, the brigade didn't want to turn fast, and then I ran right. That's the road. Imagine that's the road. And I don't know what was happening, but I think they were behind me somewhere somehow. But obviously there was no way they could catch up, right? So I managed to escape because it's my hood. I know the roads and all that. So I managed to escape, and then I found some road closer to the mountain whereby I cooled down, I turned off the car, I turned off the lights, trying to see. So when I saw them, I saw their lights down there, just strolling around as if they're looking for me. And it didn't make sense. You know, like what the fuck is going on here? I've just been in a, involved in a car accident that was like around half past one, I think, somewhere there, in the AMs. And then now this car, this guy tried running 
over me. Like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Sharp. So, the girl that I was with said, I man, let me call my brother. Because now what's happening now, it's fucked up. Let me call my brother so that he can assist us. So he call, she called the brother. And then the brother, we told him where we are. And then he came. And then he asked us what the fuck happened. And then we explained everything to him. And then he went out and to look. He went out to look for these guys. He couldn't find them. And then he came back to us and like, yeah, no, I can't find anything. So it's more like the car as well. The car which was running, and running after us is gone as well. But now this one, I'm not sure if it disappeared or it went away properly like normal cars. I was like, eh, Anamo? Yeah. And funny enough, before this, all these incidents on Facebook, I've been getting funny, funny uh, uh, messages on your DMs, things like, will get you uh, you think you can just uh leave us here you you think you are better than us you know and i concluded that these are people from my, my my hometown you know these are people from my hometown because strangers don't really have much against me strangers just say things that they don't know but these are people who know me so what happened after that was that the guy told us that the 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 brother's uh english the brother's sister the brother's sister does this make sense the sister's brother but you understand me the guy whom the sister is your english is running but you him you hear me so he told us that boy uh if what you're saying is true because lena after i i told him what happened he thought i was crazy but now he can see that we are scared and obviously we were running, you know. So he said that, no, if what you're saying is true, but I believe you, then you need to go home ASAP. You can't be at this place right now. If there are people who really want you, you can't be at this place right now. You need to go home. And I'm like, yeah. So the because I had, uh, sorry, I had the boys in the car. So they, they said, I coach, and now we'll just live here and then we'll just walk home because it's not so far. Uh, so when I just go back home now remember my mom sent me to go turn on lights at home so I'm not back as yet so she's calling she's calling she's calling she's calling now sharp so now I was forced to go back home so I went home the guy accompanied me safely uh, there was there were no incidents so we got home and then I parked the estray in the garage right I parked it in the garage and then he, I called my mom and I'm like, uh, look, I won't be coming back there. I'm actually sleeping because I'm tired, right? Uh, we, yeah, basically I've had a long day. And then she said, no, it's fine. Anyways, we are on our way coming back home. It's fine. So my parents, when they got home, they found me with the guy. They, they parked their car as well and they went in the house. So we talked, me and him. And then after he went away. So now I, I, I sat outside. That was like around 2 a.m. I sat outside trying to think of everything that happened. Trying to make sense of what happened to me. And nothing made sense. I mean, it, it felt like I was crazy. It felt like I was dreaming at that time. And I would like to believe that I was dreaming at that time. But I wasn't because the mirror is evidence that I've been involved in a car accident. The car chase, I can't really prove it uh, because it was in and out thing. It was quick. Uh, but the car is dirty to show that I was actually in a high speed race. Uh, chase, I mean. So now when I'm thinking, I'm like, so if, if there's people if these guys wanna wanna kill me then that means that if i dare try to sleep then the, the car will probably appear in my room and finish me off immediately when i thought about that and i stood up and i'm like fuck now nah, i'm not i'm not sleeping here i'm not sleeping here after that i i i 
I called uh, my brother, uh, the one that I came home with. He was driving the other S3. I'm like, dude, you know what? Where are you now? And he's like, no, I'm still at the party. It's still happening. So back home, when there's like a party or wedding or whatever, would stay up. Uh, almost up until 3 a.m. in the morning, 4 a.m., sometimes up until 6 in the morning. You don't sleep, you know, even though the original function might have ended at 6 p.m., but we make our own chila sinyana with the gents, stogonyana, you know, just 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 to have a vibe. Otherwise, because during the day, it's up and downs and all that, you know, sharp. So he says, no, dog, I'm still chilling at the chillers. I'm like, I'm fana. Where is the car? Because now there was like two S3s, right? Same car, same cars, uh, different colors. So I'm like, where's the car? And he's like, no, the car is right in front of me. And I'm like, is it fine? Like, can you check for me? And then he's starting to panic. And I'm like, yeah, no, the car is fine. And I'm like, are you sure? Then he's like, yeah, I'm sure. And I'm like, okay, dog, you know what I want you to do? Tell your uncle to bring you to my house right now. I want you to pack everything that you have in the house and come to my house right now because he's still at the village. Come to my house right now. Tell your uncle to accompany you with his car. Don't tell anybody. Now I'm starting to live in the movies. Now I felt like I'm, I'm living in a movie, you know. And he's like, hey, boy, what's going on? You're scaring me. And I'm like, nah, relax. I'll explain everything when you get here. When I make sure that nobody sees you and you're actually coming to, you're, you come to my house, somebody must accompany you. So his uncle accompanied him. Then he came to my house. Uh, when he got to my house, that was like around, I think around three in the morning. Yeah, somewhere there. So now there's like, and then I showed, remember now he didn't know what was going on. So I took out the other car because my parents were sleeping. I took out the other car. The, 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 the S3 out like from the garage. I took it out. I took it out and then I explained to them what happened. So they were shocked as well. The uncle asked Muna Hopoto, were you drinking? And I'm like, no, uncle, I'm not drinking. Were you smoking weed? I'm like, no, uncle, I'm a virgin. I don't drink i don't smoke weed the only scene that i'm doing lime shaveni is to have sex that's the only scene that i'm doing alcohol any substance i'm a virgin to that you know and it's like i man what you're saying doesn't make sense i'm like i know i know it doesn't make sense but it is what it is so uh i told uh my boy everything uh that happened and then I told him that Mfana, uh, we need to leave right now. We need to go back to Gauteng right now. Like we need to leave. It's 3 a.m. We can't sleep here with what happened. So now Liana, he's starting to be scared now. He's starting to be scared because eh, 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 now he can see the car, that the car is actually fucked, you know. So we have to leave. We have to, we have to go back to Pretoria as in like right now and he's like yeah man no so and i'm like no yeah now so he says no let's 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 at least say goodbye to your parents and i'm like no uh, because if we wake them up they're gonna see that i've been involved in a car accident they would probably panic my mom will cry she wouldn't even want me to leave i know one thing for sure so they are not gonna know anything we are living as in like right now sometimes we have to make have choices in life you know sharp we, we 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 agreed and then the uncle went back home while he was still in shock as well and then we left me and my boy left tour s3 delete 2 3 a.m we left my hometown shit we're driving back to Gauteng. three in the morning we haven't slept i'm fucking tired and i'm like i'm not gonna sleep on the road I'm going to get home, back home in Pretoria safe. We drove. We drove, we drove, we drove, we drove, we drove, we drove. At uh, 6 a.m., around 6 in the morning, we were at Weedbank. 6 in the morning, we were at Weedbank. My parents think I'm still asleep. 
So at like half past six, my mom is calling me and he's like, where are you? And I'm like, Ish, no man, uh, sorry, old lady. I had an emergency with work. Uh, there were papers that I had to sign. So we had to leave at like five in the morning, you know? And then she's like, ah, what do you mean you have to leave? You know, she's starting to make noise. Why did you leave without telling me? And I'm like, nah, man, old lady, I'm sorry, man. Uh, I'll make it up to you. And, and all that so one thing i love about my mom is that she loves money she loves money way too much so the monitor no man don't worry man uh, i'm gonna sign papers and i'll send you 30k uh, later on today so whenever she hears there's money involved then she comes down she she came down after that and then we 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 got we got to uh pretoria to my house in pretoria around eight in the morning i think yeah eight in the morning that's when we got to pretoria and then sharp we got home safe perfect that was sunday remember that was sunday morning so sharp that's when we actually managed to sleep that's when i managed to sleep peacefully i slept peacefully and then when i woke up in the afternoon uh i actually thought what I went through was, was just a dream. So I went outside to check the car. And yeah, I found out that now nah, what you were going through was a reality, dog. It was not a dream. You were not fucking dreaming. What you went through is, is, is actually real. You went through that for real. And I'm like, shit. So now the challenge was that... Um, I have to get the car fixed now. It was just too much stress. I have to observe and accept what just happened to me. But I, I, I can't seem to do that because everything is weird. I don't believe what happened to me is actually true. You know, and it didn't make sense. I was stressed. I was not fine on that day.